the wedding is such a disappointment. Hello, amazing people. My name is Min. Today we are comparing wedding and zero. The four barefoot shoes features that we're looking at is one white toe box, two zero drop, three flexible soles, and four thin soles. First, white toe box. Both within and zero prio fit me well. I can splay my toes comfortably inside the shoes. However, zero is more comfortable because the material is softer. Within is too hard. It almost feel like it's trying to restrict my toe freedom. Second, zero drop. Both are flat and does not have the heel toe drop feature found in your Nikes, Adidas, Asics, etc. Shoes with elevated heel could make you look taller and make your butt perkier by pushing your pelvis into an anterior pelvic tilt position. Perkier booty might look good, but in this case, it comes from your lower back arching, so I would avoid it for regular workouts. Third, flexible soles. It is super important for the soles to be able to twist and bend. Zero here checks the box. Within is not that flexible. It can twist, but it's rather hard. In fact, it is not any more flexible than the conventional H&M. Look at that. Not only that, the heel counter here is too hard. It's giving me some external pain on the heel. The whole shoe feels clunky when I walk. Almost like I'm in a bad dream and I try to run, but my legs are so heavy. Four thin soles. Both have thin soles. However, zero is definitely thinner than within and gives me a better ground feel. We don't want thick soles under our feet because they will block the plantar mechanoreceptors from feeling the ground, whether the ground is slippery, uneven, hard or soft, and relay that information to the brain to tell us how hard to strike the ground. Getting a ground feel is important to help us maintain an upright posture and improve walking and running patterns. So in conclusion, even though within is half the price of zero, it is still a waste of my money because I won't wear it for walking. My friend Ravi says he wears it like a pair of big socks to keep warm. I need to emphasize that if you can't even step on the ground or walk barefoot without any pain, that itself is telling you how deformed and deconditioned your feet are. We need an intervention. It is an emergency. If you want different results, you gotta do something different. Over the years, the ultra thick cushion shoes have caused your foot dysfunctions to go from bad to worse. It is crucial for you to get off them and slowly regain control of your feet. It takes methodical practice and training education on how to choose the correct pair of barefoot shoes and step-by-step -step guidance on your foot healing journey. Get an intervention now. Check out my link below to join my Barefoot Warriors community. See you again next time. Bye!